So today this arrived. Um, it says voltmeter, two pieces and about 800 grams. Um, I think I have an idea what this is, but I'm not sure. Um, it is from China, uh, I believe. Uh, recognize the number five. And I believe this means chicken soup, but I have no idea what the rest means. So I have a cup of coffee and my exacto knife and if I need a pair of scissors let's unpack this so this is a DPS 5005 USB and it's a digital control constant voltage constant current power supply um, I've been waiting for this. It uh, was sent to me about a few months ago and then it didn't clear customs and the seller had to resend it and he did, which thank you very much. I ordered it with a case, so I'm gonna uh, assemble it and uh, do some tests. I, by the way, do have a power supply. Um, it's very much DIY as you can see and it just uses a ATX power supply out of a computer um, it does the job but it's bulky um, it's homemade it's not that all that great so I needed a new one There we go, it's all built. Now, before I close this up, a quick run through of what you're seeing here. Uh, first, this PCB, that is where the banana jacks are mounted. Straight onto the PCB. Uh, then there is a chip over there, which is an XL7005A, which is a DC to DC buck converter, and that drives this fan. Now this fan is always on, um, there are some modifications you can make that the fan only turns on above a certain current or above a certain temperature, but in my case it's just fine if the fan is always running. Um, there's this connector, it's an on and off switch, and that is connected to the PCB over there, and then the positive goes to the module and the negative goes straight through to the module over here there's a serial chip a usb to serial uh, it's the ch340 and i don't know if you can see that but there are two optocouplers over there um, and that means it's totally isolated from the rest of the circuit that's a good thing on the other side there's a micro usb port and also there's some software you can use to control this unit. Over here, that's where the serial converter connects. And at the bottom over there, there are the two wires going in, positive and negative. And this is negative and positive going out to these banana jacks on the front. Now, before I power this up, one important thing to do. So I have it connected now to a generic power supply, uh, the one frequently used for LED strips and things, and uh, currently have it set for about 41 volts. Um, let's turn it on. Now when it boots up, it shows you a few things. Um, it shows the output voltage, the output current, 
and the output wattage which is all zero at the moment because it's off as indicated by this red off light. On the top left it shows the preset voltage and the preset current. Uh, it's currently at 12 volts and 100 milliamps and it shows you the voltage coming into the power supply. Now all you have to do to set the voltage is press voltage and you can use the rotary encoder to change the voltage. Um, when you press it you can decide whether you want to go in hundreds of a millivolts, volts or tenths of millivolts. A tenth? No, it's 10 millivolt increments. 100 millivolt increments and volt increments. And to save the setting, let's set it to 16 volts. You press voltage again and it's set. And now to set the current, A for amps or ampere. And in this case, you have a choice from 1 milliamp, 10 milliamp increments, 100 milliamp increments and amp increments. So let's set it to, oh no, 200 milliamps. And again, press A to confirm. Now all you have to do to turn the output on is hit the on off button. And it's now on, indicated by this green on logo. Above that, you can see it's in constant voltage mode and it says 16 volts as set. Uh, there's nothing on the output, so there's no current draw and also no power. Now to demonstrate the constant current mode, um, I've connected a small piece of LED strip. It's a 12 volt LED strip. So first, let me set the voltage to 12 volts. And I'm gonna set the current limit. I've set the current limit to just 10 milliamps. Now when I turn this on, um, it should go into constant current mode and limit the current flowing through the LEDs and adjust the voltage accordingly. I'm just gonna move this out of the way so it doesn't swamp the camera when I turn the LED strip on. There we go, it went on and it's now at 12 milliampere and as you can see by the CC over there it is in constant current mode and the voltage is 9.1817 volts. Now I can adjust the current while this is running by pressing the A again and move one up and now as you can see it goes to 22 milliampere, 30 milliampere, 40 milliampere, I can go up even further, 50 milliampere, and now it reached its 12 volts, it's actually at 51 milliampere, and it goes to constant voltage again. So if I now up the current, nothing will happen because it's in constant voltage. By going down, 40 milliampere, 30 milliampere, 20 milliampere, and back to 10 milliampere. Now there's also this set button that takes you to a little menu where you can first of all set the brightness of the screen, which I did, and I turned it all the way down, so this is a bit more readable. The first one is U set. That's the preset of the output voltage, currently at 12 volts. I set, that is the preset value of the current output uh, at 10 milliamps at the moment. Then there is SOVP, and that is the over voltage protection, which is currently set at 51 volts. Uh, SOCP, that's the output current protection and SOPP and that is the output power protection. Um, this one we already covered and this one is for presets. Uh, when you use the software you can make presets and recall them quickly uh, with one of these buttons and also from the software. 
but that's for another video. Now I really like this power supply. Uh, a big thanks to Rui Deng Technologies. Um, they send it not once, not twice, but three times before it finally arrived. Uh, the first time it didn't clear customs, the second time it got lost uh, in the mail, and the third time I finally have it. Thank you very much. And uh, if you like this video, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.